good morning in lecture 2 we understand the important terms metallic crystal structure and how to find the atomic packing factor for simple cubic face centered cubic and body centered cubic in this session first one different crystal structures they are sodium chloride cesium chloride hexagonal closed packed diamond structure and zinc blende in our syllabus have hexagonal closed packed sodium chloride and zinc blende structures only hexagonal closed packed in hcp structure contains three types of atoms as three layers 12 corner atoms one at each and every corner of the hexagon two base centered atoms one at the top face and another one at the bottom face three atoms are situated in between the top and bottom face of the hexagon the three layers are top layer middle and bottom layer total number of atoms in the unit cell is equal to 6 coordination number is 12 hence atomic packing factor is equal to 0.5 seven four hence it is closely packed structure example zinc the second structure is sodium chloride the structure of sodium chloride is face centered cubic the total number of ions present in one unit cell is eight it includes 4 Na plus ions and 4 Cl minus ions. The Na plus and Cl minus ions are presented at equilibrium distances in the crystal. The attractive force between Na plus ions is balanced by the repulsive between them due to same type of charges na plus or cl minus ions could occupy the corners and face center positions with the ions of opposite type occupying the alternative positions in between them each ions surrounded by six other type of ions so that the coordination is 6 is to 6. If you look at the diagram carefully, you can see the sodium ions and chlorine ions alternatively with each other. Zinc blende. ZNS has a unique structure type compared to other structures zinc blende is characterized as a cubic closed packing also known as face centered cubic structure it has four asymmetric unit cell in which the sulfite ions form a fcc array and the zinc ions fill one of the tetrahedral holes in figure, the big spheres represent the sulphate ions and the small spheres represent the zinc ions. Crystal Directions General rules for defining a crystal directions are the line passed through the origin of coordinate system and denote the direction by square brackets 
These square brackets distinguish lattice direction from lattice point. Negative directions. In this case, we can write as n1 bar, n2 bar, n3 bar. Because the negative index, a bar over the index. Next one is the Miller indices HKL. Miller indices are used to specify directions and planes. These directions and planes could be in lattice. It defined as the reciprocal of the fractional intercepts which the plane makes with the crystallographic axis. If you determine Miller indices, take the following steps. First one, determine the intercepts of the plane along A, B, C. Second one, invert the intercepts, that is, write the number as the reciprocal. Third one, if the fractional result, multiply them by lowest common denominator. Example, intercept points corresponding to x, y, z axis is 1, infinity, infinity. Reciprocal of the point 1 by 1, 1 by infinity, 1 by infinity. Smallest ratio is 1, 0, 0. Because 1 by 1 equal to 1, 1 by infinity equal to 0. Hence, Miller indices for the above intercepts is 1, 0, 0. From this diagram, you can sketch the planes from the points. In this session, we complete the topics or different crystal structure and detail discuss about hexagonal closed packed sodium chloride, zinc blendy, another topics are crystal directions and Miller indices. Thank you.